Well, that's our picks for last week. Why don't we get into our picks for this week? Heck yeah, we're going to pick the biggest games of Week 10, starting out with our absolutely favorite segment, the Game of the Week. Isaac, why don't you tell the folks what the TBD CFB Game of the Week is? Folks, our Game of the Week for Week number 10 is going to be fourth-ranked Ohio State traveling to face the boys in Happy Valley, State College, PA. They're playing at third-ranked Penn State at 12 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. Okay, my first question, why is this not a primetime game? I think we saw this a couple years in a row, but this game absolutely deserves to be primetime. I mean, this could be wide out, like, night game for Penn State. Instead, we're getting the noon slate, dude. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ohio State coming into this game uh, favored in the spread by four and a half. ESPN FPI also gives them a 61% chance to win. Is Ohio State fraudulent, though? I mean, they're kind of like the most expensive team in the country with the additions of Will Howard, Caleb Downs on defense, and of course the biggest one being Keenshawn Judkins uh, and some others. But what do they have to show for it? You know, they didn't play a Power 5 opponent until Week 5 against Michigan State. And of course they won. You know, then they go to Oregon, they get outplayed down the stretch, then they come out after the loss and almost lose to Nebraska off a bye week, mind you. Only one by four, and Nebraska stayed in it. If they scored a touchdown on any one of their drives where they scored a field goal, because it was 14 to nine for the longest time. So they finally did score a touchdown. You know, it just, they may have lost this game. Penn State, though, you know, they probably should have lost at USC, but they ended up with the W by field goal in overtime uh, against Wisconsin. Drew Aller, he leaves the game in the second quarter with an injury. And James Franklin announced on Monday that Aller is still questionable. And it's too early to tell if Aller will be able to start in this game. So therefore, Bo Pribula, I hope I'm saying that right, will be taking first team snaps. He's been taking first team snaps this week. Um, So how much does this really impact the game for Penn State? I mean, they were still able to beat Wisconsin by 14. uh, But, you know, Ohio State is not Wisconsin. They've definitely struggled, but they're, you know, they're definitely a way better team. So Isaac, with the first pick this week, who do you got? Let me just say, if there was ever a game that I didn't want to pick first, this is the one. Um. I feel like I was a setup. I really do. But nonetheless, I, I, I let me say this. The Man, reason it's just this, how the rotation worked out, bro. Just how the rotation look, worked out. Script writers going crazy. You know what I mean? That would be me. Let me say this. The reason this is not a primetime game, Mason, is because the TV networks, i.e. Fox for the, for the big, they are tired of seeing Penn State lose this game. They've given Penn State and Ohio State the whiteout, I mean, a number of years. And... Every year, except for 2016, Penn State has lost this game. Has it been close? Most years. Some years not. That's why this is not a primetime game. I wish it was, too. I'll be honest. I really do. But with all that said, this game's in Happy Valley. It's Saturday. It's a noon kickoff. The crowd will be rocking, but Drew Aller might be out. I'm really, really worried about Penn State. Listen, I want the Nittany Lions to win this game. But I'm going to go with the Buckeyes simply because Aller might be out and Penn State hasn't done anything to this point in the season to give me a reason to pick them. They almost lost to Bowling Green at home, and as a whole, they struggle year over year to put together a quality body of work. Listen, Penn State is a consistent 10-2 and two team, and the two games they lose every year are Ohio State and Michigan. This could be the year they change the script, but this is the week that we find out. I'm going to be pulling for Penn State. I hope I get this pick wrong. I hate Ohio State, but I've got the Buckeyes on Saturday in Happy Valley. So what's crazy, too, just to your point, actually Penn State doesn't play Michigan this year because there's no divisions in the Big Ten with the additions of USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington. Uh, But obviously they do keep the game with Ohio State. Man, you're right. This one's tough. Man, it's really hard because I really want Penn State to win, but Ohio State just has the money team right now. And I think maybe they struggled against Nebraska as a little bit of a trap game. So unfortunately, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to have to take the Buckeyes here. I got Ohio State in this one. If Drew Aller plays, uh, I think that this could definitely go in Penn State's favor with it being at home. Crowd's going to have to show up and be loud for a noon game, though. You got to be electric. You got to, you know, have an impact on the game. Crowd noise is such a big thing in this in this sport. I mean. I was thinking about this today, but I feel like college environments are so much more hostile than any type of NFL environment. Uh, They're just louder. It means more to the students. You know, there's more bragging rights involved. Uh, 
a lot of money being poured into this activity, this sport. So give me Ohio State, and I think I'm going to take them to cover too. I think they win by at least six. Uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, I mean, I'm just going to I'm going to look at the numbers a little bit. I mean, you got Ohio State, who's within the Big Ten, third in passing defense, uh, Penn State being sixth. Rushing defense, Ohio State two, Penn State three. Issue is, is when it comes to offense, Ohio State being fifth in passing offense, Penn State being seventh, and then, you know, rushing the ball, Penn State, that's what they're known to do, being third, and then Ohio State being fourth. Now, you take Drew Owler out of that um, scenario, possibly, possibly. But my issue is this, I think when it comes down to it, the passing defense is what loses Penn State the game because Ohio State has some weapons at wideout. And it, it, yes, you're six in the Big Ten, but that's a big difference. And you don't have a passing offense with Drew Alley, really. And then you take him out. So I got Ohio State in this. If Drew Aller doesn't play, I think that Ohio State could beat the spread really bad. But um, I hope not. I hope Penn State wins because I'm tired of Ohio State, but I got Ohio State in this game. And I think the uh, majority feeling for all of us is that we would all be 100% okay with getting this pick wrong. Ohio State is, uh, I mean, Joey being a Clemson fan obviously has some hate for Ohio State. Uh, LS, or Isaac being an LSU fan, I, I, I think I think it's just the bias that they get. It's the same thing with me, man. I'm cool with it. You know, I made my peace with it in 20, uh, 2022 when we beat them in overtime or when we beat them in the Peach Bowl on that missed field goal at midnight. Such a special time. Uh, still love that moment. But I think that's the general consensus here. 